After years of being told its biggest truck was just too small, Toyota has launched a friggin' monster. This week on Test Drive, the all-new Tundra. Offered in regular double and crew max cabs, two and four wheel drive and three different box lengths, the Tundra now competes on an equal footing with its domestic peers. In all, there are now 32 different combinations available, each of which is aimed at a different buyer. From those buying a workhorse to the high flyer who wants an available navigation system and, if they really want, a backup camera. The interior of the Tundra has been very well conceived. To begin with, Given the width, I was expecting some of the controls to fall beyond arm's length. They don't. You can reach everything very easily. The other thing, storage space galore. Double glove boxes, a ton of overhead storage up here, a monstrous center console, but more importantly, there's space underneath the rear seats. That way you can put your valuables inside the cab and lock them up safe. <laughs> Power comes from one of two powertrains. The base 4.7 litre V8 is married to a 5 speed automatic and pushes a very respectable 271 horsepower and 313 pound feet of torque at 3400 rpm. The up level 5.7 litre engine is teamed with a 6 speed automatic. For those who intend to tow, this is the unit of choice. It churns out 381 horsepower and 401 pound feet of torque at 3600 rpm. This means it can tow up to 4,895 kilograms when properly equipped. More importantly, it gives this oversized beast some semblance of performance. It hauls its way to 100 kilometers an hour in a very respectable 8.3 seconds. The single biggest drawback with this Tundra is the fact that it comes with a part-time four-wheel drive system. Now that means two things. First of all, it can only be used on a slippery surface if you don't want to end up damaging the drivetrain. The other thing, if you're out on the highway and it goes from snow covered to bare to snow covered to bare, well guess what? You're sitting there turning the knob. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, four wheel drive. The way you can load this truck up, it cries out for an all wheel drive system with an automatic setting. The Tundra follows the truck norm when it comes to the suspension. The typical body-on-frame chassis supports a double wishbone front suspension and a solid axle that's carried by leaf springs. Through the pylons, the Tundra handles exactly as it looks, large and ungainly. The upside is that the suspension is very comfortable despite its hauling ability, and unlike so many other trucks, where they often feel as though there's a length of knicker elastic between the steering wheel and steered wheel, the Tundra's steering has a decent feel to it. The back end of this Tundra is all about big business. Now, the things you'll find here, stake holes, a box liner, tie-downs galore, and notches to put 4x8 boards across the bed. That gives you two-tier storage. There's also a couple of nice features. To begin with, the tailgate's lockable, and when you drop it down, well, it drops gracefully rather than slamming down, as is the case with most. Size, however, well, it does have its drawbacks. To begin with, when parked next to this Grand Caravan, the Tundra dwarfs it, leaving about four or five feet of truck sticking out in the middle of the parking lot, where all of humanity is likely to run into it. The other problem, of course, finding a parking spot in the first place is a pain. When it comes to safety, the Tundra fares very nicely. Along with anti-lock brakes, which bring short 44 meter stops from 100K, comes standard electronic stability control and roll sensing side air curtains. The other bonus is a full size spare tire. Many overlook this significant safety device, leaving the driver to hobble home on a temporary donut. This new Tundra lives up to advanced billing. It's big, it's brawny, and it does the truck thing as well as anything else on the market. My quibbles, well, they're few. This thing needs an all-wheel drive system rather than the part-time system it comes with. Now, in future weeks, Bill's going to update this truck on a regular basis. Over to you, Bill, and be prepared to dig deep because this thing is thirsty.